Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I am really really excited for this video because I've never done like 10 designs, 10 completely different designs within one video so it's my first compilation and I'm hoping to do many more after this one. So anyway I'm going in first with Cat Got The Cream and Velvet Top Coat on this nail and then once I've cured that and um, wiped off the tacky layer I am going to be going in with my design. So this is going to be a bauble nail so I'm going in with Give Me Strength on a nail art brush um, and I'm basically creating a circle so I'm creating the shape that I want my bauble to be I really milked this to be fair like went way overboard with it I did the circle about four times and decided I want it thicker and I just kept doing it over and over instead of just doing a big circle to start but anyway just do the shape that you want it to be and then we'll move on to the next step Okay, so once that's cured, we're just going to go in with Vera, which is a dust um, slash chrome from Magpie. Just popped that onto the tacky layer and then I'm going in with my same brush and give me strength again. And basically drawing that circle for the second time, making sure that I am only drawing the give me strength exactly where I want it. And obviously because there is some excess around the outside and if I pop give me strength on top of that, it will cure it onto the nail and it will look a mess so I'm just doing it where I want the circle to be. I'm now going in with Lexi and my detailer brush from Magpie and just popping on some flakes just to give it a bit more sparkle and then once I've done that I'm going to be popping on some butterflies, they're like iridescent butterflies so I'm just going to do that now, I think I popped two on, nothing major, I've had major problems picking up the butterflies that I wanted as you can see I fought with them for a little bit. So I'm just popping those inside of that bauble and then I've cured, no I didn't, I went in with Aurora Mix from Tia's Beauty Glitter first and then I am going to cure that, I think, I might be lying again but I'm pretty sure I cured that, yeah. <laughs> so I cured that and then went in with a third circle um, of Give Me Strength, again just putting it where, literally just where I want it and this time I'm putting it where I want it and then adding quite a lot more to make it a little bit raised I don't want those butterflies or flakes to stick up and make it look really uneven or bumpy. So I'm putting on quite a lot and then when I've done that and I'm happy that everywhere is completely covered and there's enough on there, I will tip it upside down just to give it a little bit of a natural boost of being able to um, self-level itself exactly where I need it basically. And then I'm going to pop some Don't Be Tacky over the top which is a non-white top coat from Magpie. And I'm just doing the circle again. I think by now I've painted it like three or four times, four maybe. I just can't remember, but yeah, you get really good at drawing circles with this design. <laughs> and then once I've done that, I'm going to cure that as well. I'm just going in now with Magpie's black gel paint, and I'm using my Magpie striper brush. I absolutely love this brush. It makes so, it makes lines so much easier. Honestly, I use it for most things actually, like not even just lines. It's just so versatile to use as a brush. And then I'm going in with a quick bow. Didn't put too much thought into this. Just made sure that it looked like a bow, <laughs> basically. And then once I've done that, I just pop one of these stones right in the middle. Use a dot of Give Me Strength. Pop a stone on and then cure that. And that one is completed. So next up I'm using Caring from Blue Sky. This is absolutely beautiful. I love this. I did actually end up top coating this um, design in the end. I wasn't going to but I did just because I wanted to see this sparkle as sparkly instead of just dull. <laughs> so anyway I've popped Velvet Top Coat over that again. Um, I just find it a lot easier to do nail art on top of Velvet or Matte Top Coat. It's a lot easier. So I'm just popping some white gel paint at the top and then I'm coming down and just doing totally random lines. Um, I didn't put too much thought into this because that's when my nail art goes wrong is when I try hard. <laughs> Which sounds really ridiculous but the harder I try the worse it gets. So I just go in and hope for the best. If it doesn't turn out right you can always amend it or take it off to start again. So what's the worst that can happen? So I'm just going in and creating some really quick um, icicles not in any particular order or way just putting them all in different orders like different lengths different sizes 
and different shapes and just going in like that and then I do just round off the corners at the top a little bit just so it doesn't look so I don't know so sharp at the top just make sure it's a little bit more rounded make sure I've got enough gel on there and then before I cure that I'm sprinkling over April glitter from magpie and just tapping off all the excess popping it into the lamp and then when it comes out I'll dust off the excess and that was how I was going to leave it but at the very end I top coated so you'll see in the picture at the end that they are shiny okay so next up we've got black betty as a base I did three coats of this mainly because I didn't go in with velvet top coat for this one I just wiped off the tacky layer um I don't know why to be honest I just didn't <laughs> um so yeah I'm just going in here with some snowflakes my first snowflake was okay my second one I don't know I don't really know why I was going with it I just thought because I only ever really seem to do these first types of snowflakes I should probably try something different I regretted it instantly and I will still only ever do these types of snowflakes <laughs> but there you go did it anyway um so yeah this one's just snowflakes i'm not going to talk through this one because it's quite simple you can see exactly what i'm doing and then just top coat at the end and that's that one done Okay, so next up we're using Garden of ED. I'm popping two coats of this on. Um, this is also obviously a gel colour from Magpie. And then once I've done that, I'm wiping off the tacky layer just to make it a little bit more tacky. Obviously, because like I said, I do find it easier to do nail art on a tack-free surface. And then I'm going to be using these three colours. Um, and I'm going to put quite a lot on. Um, not to the extent where it's not going to cure, but I want it to be able to move around when I put a brush in it. So... I'm using Teresa Green first and doing all the green areas and then I will go in with the red which I think was Ruby Tuesday Um, I just can't remember what just flashed up on screen and then Plain Jane last and then we'll go in with the tie-dye effect which actually I really liked this one I wasn't really sure how it's going to turn out but I ended up quite liking it so yeah can't complain Okay, so once you've gone through with your brush and created your tie-dye effect, I'm then going to go in with a little star just to put at the top of my tree. Um, I'm using these red ones from Tia's Beauty and a little bit of Give Me Strength just to secure it in place. 
So once I've put that on and fought with it for ages and got really angry about six times and then finally got it where I wanted it, I'm happy. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with, I think it was Maggie May. Yeah, I'm going to go in with Maggie May and just create a little tree trunk at the bottom of the tree um, with that brown. And then I think after I've cured that into place, I pop some white at the bottom um, and some dots around and then that's this one done as well. Okay, this next nail, nail was my absolute favourite. So I'm going in with Bella Rouge as a base, um, just popping a coat of that on. I only used one coat for this because it's just a background. You're hopefully not going to be able to see it anyway. So I'm going in with Foil Me from Sparkle Supplies. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know how long you'll have to wait for the video, but I actually have got a battle of the foil gel video um, coming. It's between this one, Evol, and Full Foiled from Magpie. And you'll be able to see the difference between those foils, see which ones, those foil gels, see which ones work better. But anyway, I used Foil Me for this video. And then I'm going in with Velvet Top Coat because I wanted this to be a matte finish. I wasn't 100% how this was going to turn out and whether I'd like it, but this turned out to be my favourite nail of all of them. So really glad that I went in with the Velvet on this one. So when I've finished top coating that and I've popped it in the lamp, I'm just going to wipe off the tacky layer and I'm going in with white gel paint. This one's going to be a candy cane nail, so I'm going to create some lines now with the gel paint and I'm going to cure them. And then afterwards I'm going to create some more lines after those ones are cured, but I'm going to sugar April onto those again for this one. Okay, so at this point, this is where I cure this nail um, because they're all the ones that I want to keep bright white and have them like that. And then now I'm going in with some more lines. I'm not curing between any of these, so I'm doing all of these straight away, leaving them wet. And then we will go in with April and sprinkle over the top. I really loved this nail, actually, and the difference between textures and stuff because we've got the sprinkled nail, the sprinkled lines, the plain gloss lines, and then the matte under like underneath I really really love this one it's my favorite out of all of them
So once I've finished sprinkling April on top, I'm then just going to tap off the excess without touching the nail, place it into the lamp, cure that, and then dust off the excess with my duster brush. And then we're left with this, which I absolutely loved. Beautiful. My favourite out of all of them. <laughs> so for this one, we're going in with Oopsie Daisy. We're going to be doing a bow on this nail. So I'm going in with black gel paint and the rose gold gel paint. And I'm not really going to talk through this one because you can see exactly what I'm doing. Don't really need to explain anything, so I'm just going to be quiet for a second. Okay, so for the next one, we're doing like wintry trees kind of look. So this is Midnight, which is Neon 24 um, from Blue Sky. I absolutely love this colour. I did two coats of this and then wiped off the tacky layer, ready to do a design on top of. So I'm going in with Magpie's white gel paint again for this one and the striper brush. As you can tell, I use that for the majority of my nails because I just love this brush. It makes everything so much easier. So I'll go in first and do this once and then I cure that and then I go in and basically do the exact same thing all over again just to give it a little bit more depth. I didn't want bare trees, I wanted them to have some branches on that were snowy. So I do this twice and then I will come back for the next bit.
Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going in with the gel paint, obviously, for the bottom. And then instead of... I keep going in and out of focus. I'm really, really sorry, but I can't do anything about it. So I cured the first coat because I wanted white to be the background um, for some nail art of this bit. And then I'm going in with the white gel paint again, just on the bottom bit. Popping April glitter on again. And then instead of putting that straight into the lamp, I'm actually going in with my dotting tool and creating some little gaps in the snow to make it look like there's a couple of footprints in the snow. Um, it turned out quite cute, actually. I really liked it. And then once I've finished that, I will then put it into the lamp, take it out, dust off the excess, and then top coat just the top half where the blue and the trees is. Okay, so next up we've got a penguin nail. So I'm going in with this polish from Blue Sky. It's beautiful. It's got little specks of silver glitter in it, but it's a lovely bluey, icy colour. So I'm having this as my background um, because obviously my penguin needs a cold, icy background because he's in a cold, icy place. So I'm just going in with white gel paint first and I'm just creating the penguin's like... I don't know what it's called. Is it like a belly? I don't really know. <laughs> I'm just creating the white part of the penguin, basically. Then after that, I've done two coats of that white. And then I'm going in with my black and I'm filling that in around the white bit. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm popping that into the lamp for a full cure of 60 seconds because then I'm then going to be going in with white on top of it to make his eyes and then a little beak and well, it's not called a beak, is it, for a penguin? I don't know. Whatever it's called, the little thing they've got as a, a nose. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um, a nose? 
a mouth, I think I meant. I'm not 100%. I've made myself think, you know, now. Penguins, noses and mouths. Is it the same thing? Do they have separate... Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to look into this another time. <laughs> so I've done the eyes. I've just popped a dot of white and then a smaller dot of black on the middle. Then I'm going in with Pump Kim, which is another gel polish from Magpie Gel Colour. And then I'm popping this on just as a little nose. I noticed afterwards that my penguin looked really stuck up, but never mind. <laughs> it's fine. And then I'm just popping him on some little feet at the bottom. They're also probably not called feet, but there you go. Um, and then I'm giving him a little scarf as well with Ruby Tuesday. Basically just because I'm stingy and I didn't want all that polish to go to waste. <laughs> so I wasn't going to do this. I was just going to leave it as is, but I always have to take everything a step too far. <laughs> now once I've done that, I'm just going to top coat over the whole nail. Okay, so last but not least, we've got Santa's coat and a belt. Um, I'm not going to talk through this one either because I think you've probably heard my voice enough for this video and because it's pretty straightforward, you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to leave you to watch this one. This is the last one. If you made it this far, then congratulations. Hats off to you. I don't know how you've managed it because this voiceover has been the longest of my life. <laughs> um, thank you so, so much for watching as always. I hope you will come back and watch more videos that I upload. Thank you so much again and I'll be back really soon. Bye.